Lou Gehrig was born on June 19, 1903, in a section in Manhattan, New York, called Yorkville, which contained mostly German immigrants. His mother, Christina Gehrig, was always working and focused on creating a better life for him, while his father, Heinrich Gehrig, was an alcoholic and wasn't a huge part of his life and struggled to keep his job. His parents were German and moved to the U.S. just a few years before Lou was born. They originally had four children, but Lou was the only one who survived infancy. Due to his father's drinking problem, he struggled to keep his job, so his mother was the only one working, and they had little money and struggled to keep their home. Lou's mother was always there for him, and he loved her more than anyone else. Lou grew up playing both baseball and football and was very good at both. After he graduated from high school, he went on to attend at Columbia University in Manhattan, New York City. He originally planned to play football there, but baseball was going way too well for him, so he gave up on football. Gehrig had a lot of fans at Columbia University, and they gave him the nickname Columbia Lou. Then on June 15, 1923, after amazing performances for Columbia University, Lou Gehrig became a New York Yankee. The Yankees offered a $1,500 bonus, which moved his parents to a nice home in New York called the Suburbs. That same month, he played his first game as a Yankee and went on to play 2,130 consecutive ball games. Him and his teammate Babe Ruth became a lethal home run hitting duo and gave pitchers nightmares. Lou was always shy and never really talked to his Yankee teammates and they were usually separated. After amazing performances with the Yankees and home run after home run, he later earned their respect and they later gave him the nickname the Iron Horse. He went on to hit 493 career home runs and led the Yankees to six World Series titles, but in 1938 Lou got off to a terrible start to the season and worried about his health. He decided to go to the Mayo Clinic, and he got some bad news from the doctors there. He was diagnosed with ALS, or what most people know as Lou Gehrig's disease. In 1939, after a terrible baseball season, Lou Gehrig decided to retire. Not too long after his retirement, the Yankees held a Lou Gehrig Appreciation Day at Yankee Stadium in his honor. He then gave his famous Luckiest Man speech and thanked all his fans and his teammates. Major League Baseball then put aside their own rules and immediately inducted Gehrig into the Hall of Fame due to his amazing career with the New York Yankees. In 1941, Lou wasn't doing so well and he passed away in his sleep on June 2nd.